G'day guys, Mike here from Black Snake Productions. Welcome to another wildlife bite. Today we're going to be learning about our beautiful little Perrin's tree frog or emerald spotted tree frog. These gorgeous frogs are found around the Melbourne area and we'll be looking at how we set up their naturalistic terrarium here to keep them as happy as possible. At the end of the video guys, please like, share and leave a comment about anything we've done here today or you'd like to know how we set up their terrarium. All right, let's get stuck into it, guys. Here they are, guys, our beautiful little Perrin's tree frog. One of just a few of our frogs that we have here at Black Snake Productions. These are a Melbourne species found also right through to Adelaide, East Gippsland and up to Sydney. These stunning frogs not only have a vertical and horizontal pupil, but they actually have these beautiful bright colours all over the inside of their thighs and legs, bright yellows and blacks. And of course, as their name suggests, not only called the Perrin's tree frog, but as we see here, the emerald spotted tree frog. And you can see those gorgeous little spots, bright green spots all over the back of one of our adults here. Now, these gorgeous frogs have the most insane call. So although we do have them in the house every now and then, it can be a bit disturbing because in the middle of the night, you can actually wake up to this incredible sound. So guys, these beautiful little frogs here are set up in a naturalistic bioactive terrarium. A terrarium with the plants and little invertebrates that helps to take the waste out of the environment from the frogs. Remember though, you can't take frogs from the wild and these are captive bred frogs under permit. They're incredible creatures and we'll talk more about bioactive terrariums in other videos. So guys, some of the things you can do to help local frogs like this is by creating habitat where they can live. Native plants surrounding a frog bog or native wetland with little aquatic plants for the tadpoles to hide in and the frogs to lay their eggs in, as well as making sure that your pet cat is kept inside so they don't kill these gorgeous little creatures when they're roaming around at night. Many other things you can do include things like not using chemicals, insecticides, and pesticides around the backyard. This is really important because frogs have permeable skin, so they drink and breathe through their skin, and that means that any of those insecticides or pesticides can be absorbed through their skin and actually kill them. Guys, I hope you've loved this little video on our Perrin's tree frog. If you'd like to find out more, please text us on Facebook or through YouTube. Otherwise, like, click and share, and look forward to our next little wildlife bite video to be coming out tomorrow. Thanks, guys. See you soon.